Hello. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was recording now. I'm here with Emma Jane again, and Emma Jane is here because we all know Emma Jane loves dollies. So I'm going to show her my big purchase, money wise, because it's a little purchase, but it costs money. <laughs> In this video, aren't you? Oh, you want to show? Yeah, okay. It's okay, you can show. So Emma Jane got her shopping bag. And she wants to show you what she bought at the doll show. Want to show your aunties and your cousins? Yep, yeah, get it out then. Get it out. There we go. So Emma Jane was up here. Had one of the bags, <laughs> gift bags. This is what she bought at her own doll show, everybody. Do you want to show everybody? Say, it's a peanut. It is. What's it called? Lil, it's called Lil Peanut. And it's by Manhattan Toys, I think. I think it's the same toy brand. Yeah, Manhattan Toys. It's the same toy brand as Frankie's Got the Dog. Has she got a dog or has she got a cat? It's got lots of babies in. But you have this. I think she had this for one Christmas, didn't you? Do you want to show? Yeah, I know you can see yourself, can't you, in there? So, so my baby just comes out. Look, I have a little peanut pouch. <laughs> out of the little peanut pouch and it's got little buttons I've got to do all the things it's got little buttons it's got a blue bit blue sleep sack on yeah jack wears sleep sacks doesn't he so it's got a blue sleep sack on and it's got some funny little color hair is it look it's ribbon isn't it really yes but it's like a fun, what what are you looking at I don't think there's anything else here for you to buy at the doll show. <laughs> <laughs> what else did you get at the doll show? Should we show them something else? Okay, so Emma Jane wants to show you the wrist rattle. So if you watched the doll show haul, you will see that Jennifer's Creations, you can find her on um, Instagram. I'll try and link her information in the description. She makes um, reborns. She also makes fairies with the exquisite wings and elves and um, alien babies, all sorts of things like that. She's an amazing artist. And um, she gave us this um, because she'd got some sales from one of our videos last year, which was really lovely of her and which Emma Jane promptly borrowed had for her baby here this is emma jane's big baby that she had for christmas and emma jane's big baby has been holding on to her bouquet that she had for sam's wedding all very precious still around here so emma jane was a little went to auntie sam's wedding didn't you all dressed up yes i hope you saw those Hope you saw those videos. If not, I'll try and remember to link them in the description as well. But um, yes, so that was Emma Jane's other doll show purchase. <laughs> he looks like he's like his mouth's on the side, doesn't he? He's going, hmm. It's a rattle. See, it's a a rattle, isn't it? And oh, sorry. Yes, you want to show everybody something. There we go. It's a it's a rattle, everybody, with a cute little face. So do you want to come up and see what else mummy got? Yeah? Well, you don't need this up because it's not cold today. I'm going to be snuggly. It has been really cold here, but it's not cold today. This is sleeveless dress that Emma Jane's got on. Very pretty lemon and grey with the um, ruching across the chest area here. I just love this. And the little grey bow at the neck and it's got a little grey and lemon collar and it is lined. It's got cotton lining and which you can't see. It's got cotton lining and then at the bottom of the cotton it's got a little bit of tulle over the top just to help it stick out a bit more. And then she's got this lemon cardigan. Now can you remember I bought this cardigan when I went to Denise's pre-loved baby boutique. We um she was, I think it was free, wasn't it? From what I can remember, all of her stuff in the, in this box, hand knit stuff. I'm sure that's where we got it. Look at the hat, sewn in hat. 
and then you can pull the the bonnet tighter with this string i'm sure that must be a that must be a vintage pattern mustn't it i don't know i don't knit anymore so but um put your leg over that way no all right you want your leg over that way okay you all right you set up no okay hang on then yeah but then mummy can't see you are look at the camera not to the ceiling aren't you <laughs> Let's get to it then. So, look at this, Emma Jane. Let's move aunties and uncles and cousins back a bit because they're all watching. So, move it back a little bit. So, mummy's lost a camera. We don't know a camera stand. We don't know where it's gone. Yeah, I know you can see it, can't you? We don't know where it's gone. And let's see if Grumpy are looking is. Look in the caravan before we put the cover on it. There we go. I think you can see better there. I should have done all that to begin with, but never mind. So I got this from Min Lee's. Shall I just give you a reminder of Min Lee's stand? Here is Min Lee's information. Clothes for these really cute babies. Oh, look at that fish. <laughs> so cute. So I've just wanted to show you that because this is like my main purchase of the day. So you could see the stall. I mean, it was that was just a quick bit, and I think. I've, I think I deleted the rest. I had so many clips, I had to delete some to be able to video the haul, um, video like the purchases and the gifts. So this, oh sorry, I'm doing yes, this. This is a pram. <laughs> this is the handle of the pram. It's, it is big, isn't it? Yeah, I can fit a lot of babies in there, can't I? So this is going down to Hillside with me. Hillside is my she shed, garden room. It's more than a shed really, isn't it? It's a lot more of a garden room because Russ did it out nicely for me. Um, and it's where I keep all my extra collections. So for instance, my, you can touch them, yes, while I'm yipping. Mummy always yips, doesn't she? So um, my reborns are in the house they're in the, the bedroom that's specifically for the reborns my we have a two-bedroom bungalow and one bedroom is my reborns nursery and that's what it was because <laughs> we are lucky enough to have um the garage room as a guest room i was going to have that originally as my reborns room but Russ was like, no, you can have them up here. Big change from Russ from at the start of my collecting, but that's a whole nother story. But anyway, so yes, that is my room where all my other, my reborn stay up here with all of their stuff that, that babies in nurseries need. And, but, but as most people know, I'm a collector of all sorts and particularly like vintage toys, vintage clothing, vintage baby stuff. I like miniatures. Um, I have a um, multiple personality disorder and I work hard to ensure all of those personalities are feeling happy, safe and secure because that means I have an easier life all around myself. So they all have their own interests, okay? <laughs> And that is not an excuse. That is a genuine reasoning. And so down in my garden room, I have all sorts of stuff. Um, as, a, as an adult, as Caroline, I like the stuff from the 70s baby related. So this will be going down there. Um, so this came in blue. There was a blue one or a pink one. And they both had different colored bears in them. So I wanted the darker bear. They had a light bear, 
but I just thought with his features, you could see the features better in the dark bear. Now, I know that might sound a bit ridiculous, but I don't know. He just appealed to me more. Um, as the dark bear. We love him. We do. He is very cute. So, then inside that is this little pillow. It's made out of soft material. And then the bear sits in the back like that. And there he is, sat in the back. What do you think of that? Yeah, you can push him. And then you can put that down, keep the dust off. And then you can take him for a ride like brr, da, 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 da. No, nicely, isn't it? You push prams nicely. The wheels don't go around, but do you know what I mean? It just gives you that like look, doesn't it? It's perfect to go down there because I have all my prams and shares down there as well. So it is perfect. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. There we go. Can you take a photo? Can you look at the camera? And that's it. Can you look at the screen? No, look up. That's it. Can you see? Can you see the button over there? Look up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what we like, Emma Jane, hey? Right. Just so you know, I'm videoing this on Monday. I'm about to go out and do my grocery shop. I've already videoed one Happy Mail. So now I'm videoing this. Okay, so before we get to the main event, we're going to show you these. You want to, you want to get... She wants to get down, play with her baby. So she's down there with a push chair, with a yeah, push chair this time, playing with her baby. So let's open this one. So you must have guessed now by the small, tiny, tiny clothing. This is a kimono. Oh my god! I hope I'm gonna. Yeah, there we go. So it looks easy to get on. And then this goes around the waist like that and just does it up. I know some of you will not be interested because it's not a reborn. That's fine. That's fine. And did a little bag fall off? This is a little bag. I don't know. It might have fallen off. This looks like a little bag. I don't know if that's fallen off of there. Maybe that bit's come off. I don't know. Oh, no, it's so tiny, though. I mean, it's going to have a little floor in it. It's handmade. No, here's the bag. Here's the bag. That's a little bag. That's it. That's the little bag. Isn't that cute? I wonder if you see it there behind them. No, because it's still trying to see my face. <laughs> Maybe that was because that one didn't come out. And so it came with these shoes. But they actually, so when I bought them, Min, Min Lin said, it doesn't actually, Min Lee, um, they don't actually fit on. You can put them on, but sh her, but the toes are all one, so this is better. So this will still look like she's got some on, got traditional footwear on. And I don't. I'm always drawn to things that are comfy and cozy, but it could be because I'm a winter baby. Same with my uh, middle daughter. She's a winter baby. She's always drawn to things that are comfy and cozy. So how much is this? Ten pack twenty. Yeah, that set where was twelve and this was ten. Look at it. It is a jacket with oh, tickling my foot with his skirt, Emma Jane. A jacket with a really big hood and ears and a tail. <laughs> Look at that, it's like sheepskin, so it'd be nice and warm. And then it's got the pearl buttons are on elastic. See? Mm -hmm. It's so cute! So I had to get extras. 
So I'm sure that most of you now are like, and I know people said in the comments of the doll show hall, did you get us a wall jointed doll? I did. I did. I, I love them. I really, years ago, so before I got into Reborns, I was, I built myself a doll's house and it was called Rosie's Tea Room. Sorry, I've just noticed the, that's bugging me. <laughs> that's bugging me. I washed all of the stuff off of the Joey Harry Pot and uh, yeah, I haven't put it on completely right. Um, and I might be able to show you her. She's down on her side. So, <laughs> start that a little bit again. Um, years ago, I had a, built a doll's house from scratch, and it was called Rosie's Tea Room. And now I know that there are some of you that have been here that long that can remember when I had Rosie's Tea Room, my doll's house. I think, actually, there's a video somewhere in my playlists about it. Um, I think I've done a few videos of my miniatures. So I built that from scratch. And I had a doll there called Rosie, and she is a Heidi Out Ott doll. I don't know how you pronounce the second name. It's Heidi, O-T-T. And she is ball jointed, so every little part of her moves. And um, I used to take her out and take videos, um, not videos, photos. Like whenever we would go out anywhere, I would always take her and take photos of her. And Russ used to, again, hate it. He was like, why are you doing that? because uh, I like doing it. And I didn't know that there was anybody else out there that liked doing it, because, you know, I want a big internet. I mean, it's, it wasn't as big then. No one near as big then as it is. I mean, this is a long time ago, well before I got into Reborns, um, that I had her. And, um, and I loved taking her out and about and doing stuff with her. Well, then I um, had the nervous breakdown and all those things happened, and I got into Reborns. And... As I got into Reborns more, I did still do stuff with my doll's house, but not as much. And it did get damaged in the move here. And so I basically gave away to Sam majority of the collections I had. I still have some stuff here and I still have a lot of the um, dolls here that I used. Um, you know, maybe one day they will get sold, but not in the moment because um, I just don't want to. <laughs> I just can't be bothered. There's so much stuff. Um, and, and so I, whenever I've been to the doll show and seen these, I've been really drawn to them, but I've always like, you know, wanted a reborn instead and couldn't justify spending the money on both. Now, this time when I went, now I went in, um, I went to Basildon in sept in February, I think it was Basildon and saw Minley stuff there. It might not have been Basildon, it could have been. I can't remember because I've been to so many. I've been to Basildon one this year and I've been to South Southampton. Maybe it was in the Southampton one. Who knows? But I went and I looked at them and I was like, really, you know, they were really drawing me, particularly the bed. I really liked the bed and the horse sat in the bed. But when I saw this, I just bought this straight away because I knew I wanted that because it would go in the hillside. And it would fit anybody in there. That any of the extra little dollies that I've got down there in my cabinet would fit in here. So I am. Um, so I got that anyway. And I was really, really interested in these dolls. And but I walked around again. I thought, no, just have another look. Make sure because you know this is you spending money. Make sure that you there's no reborn that you want. Well, none of them really, really called my name. Um, except for one that I do have regrets now I'm not bringing home but hey ho that was obviously not meant to be because I got this <laughs> you want to come up now Mrs D <laughs> okay. oh I knocked everybody over yeah I know they smell beautiful roses and a Jane's beautiful bouquet her and Hazel had to have the same bouquet from Auntie Sam for the wedding and it has a handle doesn't it so you can hold on to it very nicely shall we show Auntie here look see it has a very nice handle so she can just put her hand through it and you didn't drop it did you all day you were such a good girl yeah you did play with Hazel in the afternoon didn't you she's 
Put the hat down. There we go. Okay, you ready? So she came in. Got this little bag. This little bag is so cute. Say, are you ready? I'm just going to take her straight out. I'm not going to do a big reveal. Well, I am doing a reveal, really, aren't I? But I am just going to take her straight out because as soon as I take her straight out, she's a bit, she's a bit um, fancy. And you will have seen a picture of her in, where did I do the picture of her too? Um, in the slideshow, I think. And I might have done it on Instagram. Here she is. This is Minnie. And Minnie is sat in this, like, office chair. But the bottom comes off. Like that. And then she becomes... Car seat hugger, a uh, car vent. She's so she's got a car seat. That's a car seat, and it goes in a vent with that. But actually, it's a bit heavy. So I I have vents that are round rather than vents that are slidey, that are square. And so she was like turning all sorts of ways. So that was a bit dangerous driving home with her like that. So I had to um, stop and take her down. And um, but yeah, I mean, I love her because of her little teeth. Look at her little teeth. She's so cute, isn't she? And her little mini ears. And I'll take her out now and show you her. I'll take her arms out there. And she's in this, like, furry, furry seat. There we go. And the way all of these, all of her seat is all tied up is... Is just with ribbon, so you can just undo the ribbon really, Caroline, rather than yank her out. Look at her! I'll show you the little seat there. See, it's this furry little seat. But look at her! Isn't she delightful? I will bring you down so that you can have a better, better look at her. <laughs> Now, when I showed her to Russ, he was like, oh, wow, I like her. She's cute. That is, that is neat. And yet he never liked, this is how much he's changed. He never liked me taking out my um, tidy out doll. Here she is. I love her mini ears. Yes, she is ball jointed. So we're going to have lots of fun posing her and I really wanted one because I was telling you when I went to Ireland to visit my daughter and I didn't take a reborn I was just like oh we just needed something to play so my um when I got there my eldest daughter had bought me some Sylvanians for granny and grandpa llamas or alpacas and um so they were cute but look, she can come all the way and have a ride on the plane. Her hands move. I mean, I can take all her, I'll take all her clothes off at some point and have a good look at her. But she's got these pair of grips. And obviously her mini ears. And look at her. So she has got a one of a kind painted clay face. So there's no more exactly the same as this one. And her head, yeah, it's clay. And her hair, I just love. It's super soft. Minley makes reborns as well. She had some reborns there. Her clothing is really cute. Little red corduroy dress. Little little shoes these little tights she's got on look <laughs> she's so cute I mean it's such good detail I absolutely love it so this was my big spend Make sure you look out in the next few, watch the next few videos because we'll, we'll get to the giveaways. And the giveaways are always related to the previous 
to what I'm talking about. So some people need, don't watch the whole video. And if you don't, you might miss something. Might miss the answer to the questions. Isn't she adorable? Oh my goodness, I love her. And her little cheeky little face. Oh, look at that cheeky little face. And she's got glass eyes, I believe. It's just her teeth, though. Look at her teeth. And her ears. And she's like, oh my god, it's Disney! Wow! Look, I love Disney! Oh no, it's the parade! I'm gonna see Minnie and Mickey! Yay! Yay! And my um, middle daughter loves Disney. <laughs> so, um, she completely loves this one. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so there we go, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for all your support. Hello to our channel members. Thank you very much for joining us. And um, if you see people with little um, stars next to their names, they are actually channel members um, as opposed to um, subscribers. Okay, so we're saying hello. Hello, hello, hello to you. Oh, she's so excited. <laughs> everybody and I am now excited because I've opened everything well I have opened everything that I've bought um at the show and um we opened some presents from Auntie Allison this morning so I've still got Auntie Tracy's and somebody else gave me something and I'm not sure what your name is um so we will show you that in another video as well. But keep your eyes, keep keep um, watching, keep your eyes peeled. Um, I usually do a giveaway when I go into a doll show. This time is no exception and I will be doing two giveaways in the next upcoming videos. Not sure which one it will be in mind because I got my brain whirling away here. It'll probably maybe be in a coffee and a chat down in Hillside. Who knows? But it will be in within like the next week anyway because we're gradually clearing the table off now from when we came home and that will make me and Russ both happy so at the moment you walk into our as that's the thing would be an open plan you see everything so at the moment I've got the push chairs here the push chair here I've got Emma Jane's push chair here um we've got a vintage little vintage car that I managed to pick up um this week um We've got a gift from Auntie Tracy that we still haven't opened. Um, another package from Auntie Tracy that we still haven't opened. Another surprise from another auntie there. So there we go. <laughs> so we can't have anybody for dinner because there's no room at the table. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.